Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we got a very special video and I got a very special guest all the way from Norway, Oscar with GRS Rifle Stocks. Dude, thanks for coming to hang out. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, so we're gonna talk a little bit about your stocks. So you and your brother came up with this business together. He does all the engineering. Correct. You do all the grunt work, yep. the literal grunt work. Yep. And you guys have got these awesome line of stocks. And these things are real well known in Europe. They are, yeah. But they're making a splash here in America. Yep, for sure. Yeah, so let's talk about your stock design a bit here. All right, uh, so GRS Rifle Stocks is all about ergonomics and adjustments. Um, because we feel that people need to connect with the rifle in a much better way. Normally you would have a, like a fixed stock. Um, you can't adjust anything. Um, and also there's often very little uh, cheek well, making it, uh, the shooting position very unstable, right? Uh, with these ones, you can push and adjust. You push and adjust the length of pull, length of pull, height adjustment, um, and um, it just makes creates a very solid shooting posi position. Eliminates a lot of play in the shooting, um, so you kind of connect with the rifle in a completely different way. Um, and that means basically that you are transferring recoil evenly or consistently, time and time again, right? So we've been shooting these. You've been trying it out for for, for for the first time, and you get that, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very ergonomic. They are very ergonomic. I love very the ergonomic. palms well, like how, how it fits your hand really well. Yep. And you were talking about like when you point, you know, your, your, you, your hand doesn't just face like in this really weird 90 degree angle. Correct. It has a little bit of a, a natural, like the way my arm turns when I point. Yep. It kind of factors in like the human anatomy more. Yes, yes it does for sure. It's very cool. And then now you'd mentioned the bedding on this. Is it like a hybrid system for the bedding? How, how does that work? So on, on the composite line we have, they actually use, um, use um, glass fiber reinforced uh, composites. Um, composites move less than aluminum does. So with chassis on like a normal aluminum chassis, they would have more thermal expansion than our, uh, one of these rifle socks here. So there's a, there's a much more even tension in the, in the bedding system and you just pop them in, torque them up and it's good, it's good to go. And I love your bipod design as well. They are very, very functional. Um, one of the cool things is that you're get, getting very close to the core line of the rifle. Uh, it means it transfers the recoil much better. So if you get the core line or the recoil line and the bipod mount or bipod uh, mounting uh, too far off, then you're kind of creating that pivot point. With these ones, it's much better. You kind of push the re recoil straight back. Yep. Absolutely. So we're gonna get over to the range and do some shooting with this particular rig. Now this is a 6.5 Creedmoor Tika T3X that's been rebarreled by Bullet uh, Central, yeah. Yeah, Bullet Central. And this thing is fantastic. It has an awesome trigger as well. That Bix and Andy they put in there, it is fantastic. And so, so it's a really nice, crisp single stage trigger. Yes, yes. It reminds me a lot of those jewels that we use here. Yep. And what's the trigger again? Uh, Bix and Andy. It's made in Austria. Uh, Bullet Central is the uh, exclusive distributor for that in, in the US, and they, uh, they paired it up perfectly, I think. Awesome. Yes. All right, so we're going to be shooting some uh, Hornady 140 grain uh, ammo here, and let's get out and have a little fun, and we're going to try some targets uh, on out to 1,000 yards. Perfect. Let's do it. All right. All right, man. So uh, what first, buddy? What do you want to shoot? I think we're going to go for a 300 first. Okay. So if you do 1.1 uh, one, one million elevation. 1.1? 1. 1. Yeah. And then windage, we don't need any windage, there's just no wind here, so... Ready when you are. Spotter ready. Tell you what, I'll just put one on the... Uh, on the big plate, just to kind of see. Yep, hold center mass. Center mass, you got it. So you're a sniper in the Norwegian Army, so guys, y'all need to listen to him, he knows how to spot. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you how not to spot, and you need to listen to how he... he Trains a shooter for spotting. Well, they used to be, used to be back in the days so anyway. Oh, okay. right on. Spot already, center mass. You got it. You are center mass. Verify. Tell you what, wanna shoot a clay? Sure. Off the berm, see if we can hit one. Which one are you going for? I'm gonna go for the Bottom right on the right side of the berm. Copy. Spot already. All right, so we got a sporting clay at 300 yards. It's a small target. Santa Mass. Can't go wrong with a 6.5 Creed more. It is awesome. Try to do the gopher's head. Gopher's head? Yep. Ooh, even smaller target. 
I like the way you think. You have to challenge yourself. Okay, let's give it a try. Go for head at 300 yards, 6.5 Creedmoor. Spot ready. All right, sending it. Right yes, over the top. Ear off. Yep. Awesome. He would be a highly unhappy critter. Let's try one more time. He's not going to hear us coming. <laughs> well, he's not going to hear it after the fact either, is he? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I saw it. It barely skimmed his ear. Yep. It's a little target. There you go. Right in the cranium. You know, I say the trigger on this gun is fantastic, Oscar. And uh, I love the ergonomics of this stock. You know, just some initial observations. Very, very comfortable. I love the palm swells. You know, I love how slim it is. And I love the bipod, the way the mm -hmm. bipod system is on this gun. Yep. Um, you know, and it seems like that's something that's kind of common more for, like, the Scandinavian countries seem like a lot of their rifles have that style of bipod because yep. I, I was exposed to it first on the Sako TRG-42. has a similar type of thing. Yep. And that's the first gun of that type that I saw other than the Accuracy International offerings that had that style of mount. Yep. What, are, what are some of the benefits of mounting a bipod this way as opposed to on the bottom of the stock? So on the, uh, the whole idea is to get the, uh, the anchoring point of the bipod as close to the core of the barrel and preferably over. So then you, then you will feel it will be even more rock solid. Um, but as you said, with, with the stocks as well, um, to have that adjustability, to connect with the rifle this way, to, to make your body fit um, or the rifle fit you instead of you trying to fit the rifle, it makes a hell of a difference. Nice. All right, well, let's uh, one punch out before. Sure. Let's do it. Okay, uh, then we are 1.9 elevation. 1.9. And just check your windage. That should be zero. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got quite a few targets at four. Do the fox. Okay. Yep. Center mass on the fox. Center mass on the fox. You Spot got it. Ready. Got shot. But he, he's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> one more. All right, one more. Might have pulled it slightly to the left. There you go. Yep, right in the spine. Yep, awesome. Okay. I'm gonna true this thing in just a little bit here. Okay, how about a clay? Sure. Uh, bottom left. Copy. All right, so clay pigeon at 400 yards with a 6.5 Creedmoor. This is pretty adventurous, but I'm gonna give her a shot. I think I can probably hit it. Let's see, so. Do slide and, right edge. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going for the clay. Yep. Bottom left. Hold the right edge. Right edge, yep. okay, you got it. Oh, just, oh, you actually, you punched it. Set a mass. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. Dude, this thing is freakishly accurate. It is. And one thing, too, um, I now know that this uh, bullet central barrel was an aftermarket barrel for this particular T3. Uh, this is my first time shooting a Tika rifle, and uh, I'm very impressed with it. Um, no recoil. No. This thing soaks whatsoever. up the recoil yep. beautifully. You can spot their own, own impacts on the 300 meters yeah. and out. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. Want to punch out a little further? Sure. This is child's play. Let's wow. do uh, 500. Okay. 2.8 the elevation. 2.8. Yeah. They give me one click uh, left for uh, spin. One click left for spin. Yeah. You got it. Okay, we're out to five. Okay, so five is where the D28, the, the round. Correct. 
okay. the gopher. And the gopher, yep. you got it. Uh, do one on the center plate first. Okay, I'm gonna take my time and put one right on the center there. We'll see where we're at. Spotter ready? We're sending it. Good, give me uh, two clicks right. And one more. Spot ready? All right, send it. Perfect. Split the difference? Yeah, split the difference. Actually, let's move, let's push it out to six. You got it. 3.8 elevation. 3.8. Yep, and then just keep the windage. You got it. All right, we're going out to six. And we do have 650, I believe, so yep. we can... we'll try that as well. Yeah, we can try that in a minute here. Okay, out to six. All right. Forgot to repaint the steel at six. That's okay, we can see the splash. Do the round, round plate first. Yep. Yep, spot ready. High right, Slightly see on it? the high side. If you yep. do uh, 0 0.2 down. 0 0.2 down. Yep. So our new correction is uh, 3.6. Correct. All right, I'm going for the stick in. That's a half size D28 at 600 yards. It's a stick in. Uh, it's only exposed about halfway. So I'm actually aiming at half the target and it's not gonna ring very loud being a stick in, but let's give it a try. It gives us a nice small target to shoot at. I think we got this thing dialed in, Oscar. I All right, shooting right. the stick in on the right side of the berm. Why did I agree to this? Ah, the target's tiny. Oh, wait, the wind is picking up. Yep, I feel it. The right edge. Right edge. Just off the right edge. Spot ready. Oh. Well, it shot right where I was looking. Yes, you did. Yep. It, it <laughs> hit on the right edge. edge. Yeah. All right, so let's time. Let's uh, let's center up on her. It did hit it though, it hit the it shoulder, did you yep. see that? Yep. See I could it. spot that shot by myself yeah, from awesome. behind the scope. It's wow. Not, no problem spotting the trace today. Fantastic. Okay, center mass. Center mass. Spot ready. There you go, center mass. That's awesome, man. Wow. All right, 650, brother. 4.3. 4.3. If it actually do 4-1. Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. For the correction we just did. You got it. 4.1 going 650, I'll tell you what. How about a challenge? The Magnum popper, it's a 10 inch popper. Perfect. All right, 10 inches, 650. All right, I'm gonna go for the popper. Hold center mass. Center mass, you got it. Spot ready. Ooh. I think you rejected. Would. Yeah. Want to try the hanger first? Do see if one we... more. Yep. All right. I think you were just off the right edge. I think you're right. Just over the top. Oh, there was impact. Oh, there it is. Do one, do one click down. New correction is four, yep. four point oh. Oh, I see it. Wow. Yeah. Is Solid it, impact. Yeah, you saw it in the like in the neck area, right? Correct. High chest, almost the neck. You ready? Spot ready. I think that was just over the top. I think you're right. All right, last round. And we'll let this barrel cool down and we'll uh, swap up. Sound sure. good? Yep. All right. Spot ready. 
All right, last round. Half size D28, 650. There you go. Impact. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, this rifle is sweet. This, this is just the whole package, like the total setup as it is here in its totality. It's just, um, you know, it's my first exposure to a Tika and uh, man. It's an awesome combo. Yeah, fantastic piece of gear. I have to say that um, we actually sell uh, like all over the world well, on our rifle stocks and the Tika T3 is the number one seller in oh, every well, market. Yeah, I can totally see why. It's a great know? value for money and it's, there's so many people who are doing uh, accessories for it now, now as well. So both yeah. the accessory side, rechamberings, new barrels, all that kind of stuff, it's awesome. All right, Oscar, we got we backed out to 962. Uh, we're going to take some shots with this 6.5 just because it's doing so dang good. You got the uh, dope on the Kestrel for this uh, shot? Yeah, so I have 8.2 on dope. Okay. Um, and the way stuff is working now with uh, wind, we're just uh, moving back and forth in crosshairs instead of adjusting anything. So. Spot her up. Send it when you're ready. Going for the round? Yep. You got a little bit of a wind blowing left to right. Oh yeah. Center. There we go. Impact. You just needed a look on that uh, yep. castle over there. Good, good, good center impact. Yeah. That looks good. All right. changed yep sure did it hit uh, top of the plate that was the impact just clip the top edge of the plate yeah ready send it Impact. Good shot. Impact. Where are we at on the plate? Same hole I had. Okay. Same mass. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot one more. Yep. The rifle is so damn accurate. Dude, tell me it's about insane. it. Insane. Dead center. Same hole. All right. Well, man, I had a lot of fun shooting long range with you. And I'm telling you, those thousand yard shots were challenging. I mean, that 6.5 is, you know, it's, it's a steamer. That thing is so fast. It's, it's like a, a laser, laser beam. It's a laser beam, yeah. Yeah. I was really impressed with it as well, for That's sure. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we had one little surprise we slipped in there on you on the clay. That might have threw you for a little bit of a loop there. Yep. <laughs> so um, let's talk a little bit real quickly um, about the optic too. The optic was tracking really nice. This is an Element Nexus. This one's a five to uh, twenty by fifty, and um, you know it's got the Christmas tree type reticle, kind of a busy reticle, but very very useful in making mm -hmm. instant corrections. Yep. And one thing I noticed just in retrospect about shooting this rig is that I could just about spot for myself because yep. the gun is so stable with this bipod and just the way that it transfers recoil energy is very, very ergonomic and direct and simple. And I could spot for myself quite well and then instantly uh, determine relative corrections using the Christmas tree reticle. So that this rig in its totality is very nice. Uh, now you do offer these particular stocks in a few different configurations we'll and do, yeah. different price points. Yep. You want to talk about those a little bit? Sure. Uh, we have a wide range of inlets, so meaning the uh, the rifle it fits for, uh, also in a different model. So we do laminar stocks, we do composite stocks, and we we'll do a couple of chassis as well. Uh, but if you go to the homepage like uh, www.grsriflestocks.com, you can see all of them. And that's the, that's the one that's actually a new one. It's not officially launched yet but we're excited to, to show it. Uh, this will be like the entry level of, of GRS rifle stocks. Uh, something we'll find with Bullet Central, with uh, Ronells.com and Shields.com. Uh, and th this is kind of like, 
it would be below 400 bucks, between three and 400 bucks. So that's a lot of uh, a lot of stock for the money for sure. Well, yeah. yeah, dude, I love the texture on that. Yeah. That is great. You know, looking at this particular stock, I do love how you went with this you know, it's kind of rubberized. You know, it's it's grippy and it's got some texture, but it's kind yep. of rubberized and soft. Yep. It's a really well thought out design. I like it. And uh, and one of, one of the things about these stocks that I dig as well is after getting to hang out with you and do some shooting with you, I can tell that you and your brother are really passionate about this in terms of putting these things out. Like these stocks are made for shooters by shooters. For sure. And uh, I think it's a it's a great way for you to team up with guys like Element and FX and all the other OEM stuff you're doing because yep. you guys have inlets for so many different rifle designs. We actually, right now, when I get home, I have two Remington 700s set up with these stocks and I can't wait to take them out and challenge Chad to a lunch battle later. It's going to be fun. It's going to yeah. be fun for sure. Awesome. Oh, I appreciate you coming all the way from Norway to hang out with me. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's been awesome. I'm going to have to come visit you, man. Yes, come on over. Well, you got some long ranges over there we oh, can yeah. get we out? Oh, yeah. We have, we have ways, ways long. It's going to be, that's going to be awesome. Okay. Let's do a 4K one. 4,000 yards? Yeah, let's try it. With what? What, what kind of gun? I'm going to build a new one just for you. What? <laughs> oh, this, now, all right, that's one, of the, that's one of those Norwegian tall tales, isn't it? Oh, no. We'll make it happen. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. We hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, really, a thousand yards is just starting to stretch the legs on this 6.5, and uh, this is my first exposure to the, the Tika T3. Wow, what a fantastic gun. It is a fantastic gun. Y'all know how to build guns over there for sure. I yep, mean, it's yep. just, I'm, I'm so impressed at the quality of this Tika, and uh, I've, I've never owned a Tika rifle, and I, th I think I'm gonna have to change that. I'm gonna have to f try to find me a T3. It is a perfect system, this, uh, and that's one of the things as well. It's a, it's a really, really great shooter, but it's also light. It so is. This is the one we're using for hog hunting as well. And yep. uh, carrying this around all evening, no problem whatsoever. Awesome. Well, Oscar, thanks for hanging out. Really enjoyed your company. Thank you. All right. Guys, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.